Uh, hi everyone, lovely to see so many of you here after the party last night. Uh, so my name is Tanya Malo and um, just uh, in a moment a bit more about me, but I will start my story from saying that uh, first time I relocated, it was 20 years ago, um, I had just graduated from the Finnish upper secondary school. I had 20 euros in my pocket and uh, I went to France. I had a job, I had a roof over my head, um, I had studied seven years of French, but I wasn't really good at it because fin Finland, we don't speak, which is not a cramp. So um, my first experience of relocating, I didn't understand I was actually relocating. I was going towards something exciting, a new opportunity. I had three weeks to decide if I'm going to go or am I going to stay, and I said, yeah, definitely, I will go. I asked my mother's permission, though. Um, the next time I relocated, I went to UK. I didn't understand I was relocating because I went towards something interesting. Uh, studying in the university in Sheffield, lovely place, loved it. Um, and I was sitting there uh, filling in massive piles and piles of papers uh, with uh, like 200, 300 other students. And I was like, oh, this is quite interesting. They are asking me a lot of questions. Uh, some of them felt really weird, but they were still, I was like, well, okay, I can understand. I understand they want to know something about me. Um, and then I came to Finland after my studies for the second time uh, to study here, and, and I have relocated a couple of times after that. But the word relocation for me is quite new, because I think relocating is taking a challenge elsewhere and just doing what needs to be done. But what I noticed through my experience is that uh, relocation is a process. Uh, there are certain things that need to be done, regardless do you like it or not. And uh, the thing is that I wanted to make it easier for other people. I wanted to make it simple, more efficient, and I noticed that Finland has a bit of a challenge with this. So I started reaching for roles in relocation. I've helped individual families uh, for six years in, during my career. I've um, helped companies, I worked in HR, I worked for the higher education institutions, universities, um, and then I decided it's not enough. I wanted to change this process. The challenges we have in Finland when relocating people or helping people to find a job in Finland. So I reached out for a role in public sector. <laughs> Public, says. public sector is a, it's a tough one, but there are still some things we, uh, where me and my team were able to do in, in a three, four years. I worked there uh, for talent attraction and retention. But then I decided this is not enough. <laughs> we need a bigger change. We need to change the companies, the hiring companies. So I, I started with my lovely colleague Kirsi, company called International Fox Agency. Um, and we changed the company cultures towards more international, international approach. We help them to find a process, uh, how to hire internationals. So all together during my career, over 1,000 families <laughs> relocated to Finland, but it's not enough for the Finnish workforce. Uh, several hundreds of companies, um, lovely journeys, lovely stories, kind of share all of those with you. But I want to say that I do understand what it means to relocate. And I know, know what are the problems that the companies have that uh, Saku and Vismit also um, told you about. But what we are going to discuss about today uh, is relocation, the process, uh, how it is simple. Because it is, if, uh, if you know what you are doing, but the challenge is that the companies no, the individuals don't really know what's going on. Uh, so first thing we often talk about is the immigration. Well, that makes sense. You need to have a right to reside and, and work in a country, if, if that's what you're looking for. Or your family need, members need to have the right to be there legally, which is, makes sense. You need to have a roof over your head, uh, so home search. Even if it's a temporary move, you still want to live somewhere, right? Um, 
taxation, local registrations, being part of a municipality, being, having an access to health care. Makes sense, you want all of this. You, you want um, access to a social security. You want to be part of the society and, and be like anybody else, even though you, you came maybe from elsewhere from different system, but being a, part, being a member of the society with similar rights. So something needs to be done. In Finland, this, like for example, you need a Finnish ID card. Well, where do you get one? <laughs> How do I get one? How can I access this uh, benefit? You need a bank account. Your salary needs to come, go somewhere. <laughs> your, your employer needs to pay. Uh, you may, might want to use a public transport or you want to um, own a car. You maybe want to import a car and a really nice one <laughs> from elsewhere. You might have a family, you, then you need to think about daycare options or school search. Uh, you have um, high standards for your children's education. You might want to know which schools are available and making sure that they get the best possible education. Uh, maybe it's just you who is moving, uh, and, but you want to bring your girlfriend or uh, boyfriend or significant other uh, with you but what are they going to do? Who are the, who are the people they are going to meet? Uh, what is their, their integration path? Because you know the people who are at work, but who do they know? Uh, who do they interact with? Uh, language, cultural studies, we all come from different backgrounds. Uh, it's good to learn a few, a few things about the language, culture. It's all exciting, new skills. Um, and what are you going to do on your free time? Maybe you have a hobby that you want to continue when you have moved. So let's say that you followed all the instructions that Saku and Rismit just gave you. You landed a job in Finland. So what needs to happen? You've accepted an offer. You are really excited, new company. Uh, you even might have signed the contract. So things need to happen on two sides, the employer and yourself. Uh, there isn't a process where an individual is not part of it in Finland. No one can do it for you as such, but you can get help, which is great. Employer has a massive obligation in helping you when you are landing a job. So if any HR professionals or hiring managers in the room, uh, please pay attention to this. The process within the company needs to be done perfectly. Uh, we cannot assume that anyone moving from abroad knows how things are done in Finland. What are the services available? Who is holding your hand in different situations? So it's very important that the company is doing their best to help. Uh, what kind of documentation you need? What do you need to prepare just before you have signed the contract? But what are the things that you need to from someone get from your home country, like paperwork. You need to have a list of the things that you need to bring with you when you move. Who is going to give it to you? The employer. So there needs to be a process on employer's side. How are we going to help the recruited person uh, to navigate in this? Then what needs to happen abroad is the document gathering. You have been given instructions, so you follow the instructions. Very simple. You might have been told you need to bring your original diplomas. You might have been told that you need to bring um, a marriage certificate, children's birth certificates. You need to gather all of these documents that often are also only available in the country where you got married <laughs> or where your children were born. So it takes some time. It's not about the relocation process that's as such, uh, that can go quite smoothly if you have done the paperwork, like pre-preparation. And often immigration happens outside Finland. You already apply for residence permits. If you need one, if you come outside the EU area, you need a residence permit to be allowed to work in Finland. Uh, you need to apply it often abroad. I think that, that is also a faster um, situation for you. So you fill in applications, uh, you, you are in contact with um, immigration services and you get your permit before you move. 
uh, just a few words about permits just a bit later. But that is what generally happens, that you apply for your permits abroad. Um, you need to book a temporary accommodation. I would always advise take something temporary and see where you actually are going to live. You, if you don't know the area, so, and like your friend's advice can be, it's your friend's advice. It's for their situation. But uh, come for a, like a, book a temporary accommodation for a month or three weeks or something. Look around, how do you feel the city? Where do you want to live? Yeah, where your family wants to live? Or if you are moving alone, it's like, do you want to be in the bus of the city or do you want to be close to the nature um, a bit further away uh, from the city? Because we are all different and that's, that's great. <laughs> but think about it. So never, ever, ever just buy something or rent something for a year and then you are stuck with it. Uh, look around, enjoy the experience of finding something new. Then you arrive, and then the important bit starts, the settling in. There's a lot of offices you need to go to, but luckily in Helsinki, you're in the capital region, we have a service point called International House Helsinki. It's all under the same roof. Uh, the appointments need to be booked well beforehand, um, just to make it smoother, so you don't need to sit in the waiting room and wait for your turn, but it's all in the same building. Uh, and what I mean is that it's the local registration, meaning access to the municipal services like healthcare. Uh, you fill in applications for social security. You want to maybe want to meet the professionals from uh, the Finnish Center of Pensions. How do you, how is your, how you, when the time comes, how do you get your pension that is uh, accumulated in Finland? You, the bank account is not on the same building, but you will get information how to get one. Um, you will get information on daycare services, which is really cheap, <laughs> actually in Finland, only a couple of hundred euros a month uh, for daycare and, and their primary education, for example, is, is completely free. So, but the professionals there in the same building, International House Helsinki, will help you to get all of this done. Home search, like said, started when you are already here. Uh, lease negotiations, we don't really negotiate on the price, but we might negotiate on, for example, I want my internet to be included in the, in the rental um, flat or the, or the rent. Uh, you order utilities. These are quite efficient in Finland. Like you get these in a couple of days. So it's, it's quite simple. And they're also very reasonably priced, uh, which, which is uh, really nice. It, when you have found your flat, you have negotiated your lease, uh, and you are moving in, always make a check, take pictures of the place. Uh, so when you move out, then there won't be any problems. Uh, and if you, if you moved with the family member, um, it's good to understand that if they are not working or they don't have their own career path here, it's everybody's responsibility to make sure that we, we find also a place for the significant others in this society. So that they find friends, their networks, professional networks, uh, hobbies, everything. So um, it's never that only one person moves, it's the whole family unit that moves. Uh, well, how long this is going to take, the relocation? Uh, for EU citizens, we are looking at one to three months. Uh, one month, one and a half months, quite basic. So everything is done. Because as an EU citizen, you show up, you find a home, do your local registration, get a tax card, and you can uh, start enjoying, enjoying Finland to the fullest. For non-EU citizens, uh, specialists like yourself, we have now a, something called the fast track. Uh, you will get a residence permit for, uh, as a special expert in two weeks. So it's not that bad, but um, we, you, you might be also moving from a bit further away. So it's good to pay attention to the timeline that it is often uh, significantly slower process than, than for a non-EU citizen who 
takes a train, <laughs> then train and maybe a boat and then shows up. But there are many other things to consider when you move from uh, outside the EU area. For example, like international taxation, social security matters. There might be things that you need to do in your home country as well. So that's also part of the process. Um, well, now when you may be still be just considering to move, there's a lot of practical information. Information you can gather beforehand, and this information is available in two forms, in writing, <laughs> uh, but it's also available through, these, um, uh, through online sessions, uh, newcomer information sessions. Uh, for example, if you want to, uh, you have those family members uh, and you want to know more about the daycare and how that actually works and what are the payments. and how do I get my kid to the daycare center? Then you can get all this information through these online uh, sessions. They are uh, organized quite regularly. So, so it's really uh, helpful every couple of two, three weeks. Uh, there is one. And um, then, for example, if you're interested about the startup scene in, in uh, Finland, you want to maybe start a company here or you want to join a startup, you want to know about the networks, this could also be one, one good place to start before the move, just to get general information. Um, newcomers guide, it has everything in it <laughs> about Finland from, uh, from taxis to, uh, to immigration services that the city has to offer. Um, um, services for employers and, and so forth. Um, but there are also available services on top of International House Helsinki. On International House Helsinki's website you can find that newcomer's guide and the information sessions. Um, and there's uh, something called Work in Finland service line for employers. Employers do please use uh, the public <laughs> services. We have really good service points for international recruitment. This wasn't the case when I started doing this. <laughs> uh, then it was running around trying to figure out uh, what to do. But now we have these uh, services under one roof. So employers, please make sure your processes are right and you can help your employers, employees in the best possible way when they are relocating. Uh, there's also financial relocation support av available through Talents, Talents, uh, International Talents Boosting Growth Project. Um, so that's when you have the first international hire exciting times, but like Saku said, it starts from there. You hire one, then the, you just cannot stop them coming, <laughs> which is great. Uh, and International Recruitment Guide, I'm one of the writers of, of this uh, lovely booklet uh, from Business Finland's website, you can, you can find it. It has everything for the employer from like a step-by-step -step guide how to hire international workforce. Um, but if this is too complicated <laughs> to, to use these services or you feel it's not enough what you are getting as an employer, then please reach out to private companies. There are several international HR and global mobility companies, big ones, small ones. I represent the smaller consultancies, but then there are also bigger global companies that help with the matter. The bigger the problem, the more global your business is, then maybe you reach out for, for the big boys. And if, uh, you, you're, it's, um, if you are in part of the 93% of the Finnish companies that hire less than 10 people, uh, then maybe smaller consultancies are, are for you for more swiftly solutions. But relocation and international um, moves several companies in Finland available for you. Uh, always ask for quotes. Um, it's never too good to just to have one. <laughs> ask, ask for several. Um, international taxation, social security matters. Always make sure that your employee uh, has the needed support. 
This is not as simple as we might think in the remote work. <laughs> remote work is the next challenge this world is facing when it comes to taxation and social security matters. Uh, sometimes people own property elsewhere or they are renting a, their own house um, in another country and they are still getting income from Finland, for example. So it's not so straightforward that how the taxation goes. So sometimes it's good to ask uh, consultants to, to look at the, how, how is it uh, handled professionally so there won't be any problems in the future. And the same thing comes with the social security. It's, it's really important that we have access to the healthcare services and, and the benefits that we are entitled to. So it's not uh, something that it doesn't matter because it's difficult. Sometimes it is difficult, but we are talking about people. We want our employees to be uh, in a good place in life and that, that they have access to everything that they are entitled to. So if you don't know, it's, it's difficult, it's not, the investment of recruitment is always so high, so putting few euros, <laughs> a few hundreds of euros or a few thousands for these services, it will make a massive difference uh, for, the, for the employee, but also for the experience for the whole company. Um, and then if you are a talent moving to Helsinki region, uh, you also have the services of International House Helsinki, but from a different angle. You use the services, you get the information. There's also multilingual service. For example, if you have family members whose English skills are, uh, or they are not comfortable in speaking in English, there are also information on 12 languages and, and people from other countries who have relocated before. And, and it's ex excellent service in, in that way. Um, relocating, relocation companies, international moves, of course you can buy them privately. Um, but also it's good to think what I'm going, if I'm going to move myself and my family, do I need to move everything I own? Because sometimes it can be a bit costly. But if you ask for a quote, it's all right, you haven't committed to anything, so, so it's, it's good, to, good things to think about. And also, everybody has a, <laughs> their own responsibility on their own life, so even if the employer is doing everything that they can to make sure that your tax and social security matters are uh, done correctly, uh, you need to be part of the process and, uh, and make sure that that's the way it is. Um, I'm not a tech person, I'm an HR person, but I still manage to do with my, uh, with my uh, colleague uh, Kirsi, we created Pocket Trello service. It's a little scalable um, uh, application that you can find online. It's completely free, it's just to help you out. Um, um, but when all the important official stuff is done, we might want to enjoy our lives in here in Helsinki, or in Finland in general. There are similar service points around Finland, like International House Helsinki, there is one in Tampere, one of the big cities, and in, in all the bigger cities there are services like this, uh, available for, for the employers and new employees. But um, Helsinki is my hometown, and I love it, it's very exciting. And I hope you have enjoyed your stay here, and, uh, or if you, if you are online with us today, then you might want to uh, visit Helsinki or Finland one day. Uh, Helsinki is like, um, in a couple of days you don't necessarily get what it is all about. That's what I have felt when I've lived uh, long abroad and then coming back, is that you need to kind of dig deeper. <laughs> Uh, you can find a lot of information online, but to actually get what the city is about, it, it's good to spend longer periods of time here. If you are a big lover of music, we have a lot of festivals, concerts, really big underground music scene. If you are really into gaming, um, uh, there are a lot of good places where to go out to arcades, to play games, to meet other same-minded people. But you kind of need to meet the Finns and, and discuss with the locals. It's not necessarily information you find online, but 
the great thing is that uh, Finns are happy to help when you start speaking to them and you ask the questions like this is what I'm looking for. They will make sure that they will do their best to help you out to find what you are looking for. Because if you have a Finnish friend, you've got a friend for life. They will definitely make sure that you've got the best possible experience. Um, but what is also important about this, obviously you need to find your own way and get your own friends and uh, uh, your social network here. Uh, but it's also good, to important, it's good and important to understand that Finland is really trying the best they can to make sure that all the internationals moving to Finland have the best possible experience. It's not always the reality, but it's not done by the other spine. But like I said, if my career is a bit over 10 years on this uh, matter, um, like helping internationals to relocate to Finland, and I said that the relocation word didn't exist uh, when I started on this business. You need to give us a bit of a time to get the processes right. Uh, but everybody is trying their best. The government is uh, uh, doing the best to, uh, to support these, uh, like getting the immigration faster, getting the services faster, uh, being able to help the employers to recruit. So a lot of money, time and energy and really good people are trying to help uh, uh, to make the experience uh, the best possible for you. So things are trying. <laughs> um, but also, like, it's good to pay attention to that, what, the, what the country has to offer. Like, when you get into it, there might be a bit of hassle in the first before you might find your own way. But Finland has really good qualities and uh, the freedom that we enjoy here and the good quality of life, uh, access to nature, it's, it's, it's a nice place to be. It's a good place for your families and uh, I really enjoy that you you enjoy your time here now when you're just visiting and now when you, with all these talks, you have obviously already packing your bags when you get back home. <laughs> uh, I really hope you are at least coming back and, um, and uh, also looking at the options here in Finland. So warm welcome from my part to work and, and stay in Finland. Thank you.